Welcome to Better Today with Alex Merced, where we talk about improving your life by working on your relationships, knowledge, skills, and health. By allocating your time to development, maintenance, and leisure of those things. If you enjoy the show, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash alexmerced. Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced and welcome to another episode of Better Today. So today we're going to continue on that lifehack.org article of 20 pieces of life-changing advice you can actually learn from your daily life. Now, last week the recording kind of cut out before I was able to elaborate on the fifth item on the list of 20. So today we'll be doing 5 through 10. So the recap, or to start off with 5... Five is smaller problems are much easier to manage than larger problems. And all this means is that if you look at things as big challenges, they're going to be overwhelming. It's like a steak. If you take a look at a big five ounce steak and be like, man, how am I going to eat all that? Well, it's going to be kind of difficult to stick the whole thing in your mouth. You'll choke and you'll probably die. But if you cut it up into small pieces and you chew several times, You won't even notice the time go by and the steak will be gone and you'll wish you've ordered a 10 ounce steak. So do the same thing with any large problem in life. You want to start a business? Don't think of it as, oh, I'm going to go start a business tomorrow. Because then you're going to see the distance between you and starting the business and it's going to be overwhelming. You know, start off a day and be thinking, you know what, today I'm going to file the paperwork to create the LLC and that'd be your goal for today. Or today I'm going to go register the domain and, and get the hosting for the website. Smaller goals and you'll eventually end up with your larger goal accomplished. So break things down into the sizable chunks. Number six, be considerate of others. Now, this works two ways. One, it feels good to be nice to people. Worry about what they're worrying about. Thinking about what what is it they're worried about. And one that helps you develop this sort of uh, social sensitivity to how others feel and what other people need. That'll serve you well in, in your professional endeavors. Because you'll I'll learn where you can produce value for others. But at the same time, helping other people opens up doors for you. Because people want people who are considerate of them. To stick around so you're gonna have more people who want you around and then that'll allow you to be around when opportunities appear if you're that person who's not considered who doesn't who's never willing to do a favor uh, never shows any level of consideration then you're not necessarily gonna be that person that people keep around more of the time which means you won't be there when opportunities present themselves so point is You put, you get what you put out there. You put out positivity, you will get positivity. You give people opportunity, you will get opportunity. So be considerate of others. Dress for success. And dress for success doesn't necessarily mean a suit. It means dress the part. Okay, if you dress this in, in a in a nice, well cut, well groomed suit, but you're looking to become a punk rock star. That's not necessarily dressing for success because you're going to lose credibility when you're on stage playing punk music unless you're doing it with some sort of sense of irony. But if you go to a business meeting dressed as a punk rock star, the same story. So you need to decide what is the message that you're trying to get across and make sure that not only do the words that come out of your mouth communicate what you're trying to say, but the things that you're wearing. And not just wearing the right uniform, but wearing it the right way, paying attention to the details. Okay, there are different types of suits that are more are different appro- appropriately different in different uh, business settings. So make sure you understand the setting that you're in and dress appropriately for your audience. It doesn't necessarily mean always wear a suit. It doesn't necessarily mean never wear a suit. It just means know your audience, know what you're trying to accomplish, and dress appropriately and care about detail. Start your day caring for your health. Now, here's the thing. If you're in bed because you've gained so much weight that you cannot move, well, then all those other opportunities and all these other things are for naught because you're, how are you going to make it to a business meeting? How are you going to go spend time at your kid's baseball game? So caring about your health so that way you're here tomorrow and that way you have the physical ability to participate in the things that you want to be in, 
well, that's pretty. That's a pretty good value. So spend some time caring about your health. It'll go a long way. The power of habit can transform your life. Meaning, repetition. People have a hard time doing things that are not part of their routine, that are not part of their schedule. So the more you, if you want to be doing something consistently, like exercising or blogging or something like that, you need to make a habit out of it, make a ritual out of it, doing it at the same time, at the same day, for the same amount of time. So that way you always do it because it becomes part of your routine. So find the things that you want to change in your life and find a way to make it a habit. Okay, even if it's just things like thinking positive thoughts. So if you sit there and say, you know what, at seven o'clock every night, I'm going to spend an hour and just think positive things and imagine positive things and tell myself life affirming things, it becomes a habit. And then that habit sticks. But if because sometimes people do the opposite, they'll they'll think negative things at the same times every day, and then it just becomes a habit that they're stuck in and it's hard for them to get out of it. So make a habit of the things you do want to change. And our last one for today is judge others favorably. You never know what battle they're fighting. Sometimes people will be mean. Sometimes people will not be in there, in their mindset to really be engaged in what you're telling them. But a lot of times there's something else going on. Maybe they want to talk about it. Maybe they don't. But the bottom line is you never know what's going on in anybody's head 100%. So you always, it's best to always give people the benefit of the doubt. Because who knows, maybe two days later, they've worked those issues. And now, because you took that bad impression of them earlier, and you didn't give them a second chance, you've limited yourself to what might have been a great friendship, relationship, connection that could have opened up opportunities or made your life better. Um, Or you allowed yourself to burn bridges because you were too quick to have resentment or not appreciate there just might be things you do not know. And there's a context that you're not appreciating at the moment. So always give people the benefit of the doubt. Now, of course, you always got to make sure that you watch out for yourself and that you're taken care of. But to the extent that you've accomplished that, don't be quick to burn bridges. And, uh, you know, be aware that people have lives outside of what you've experienced with them. So next week, I'll see you guys. We'll go over a few more on this list. My name is Alex Merced. You're listening to Better Today. If you enjoyed this discussion, make sure to share the podcast. Leave a positive review on iTunes, on Google Play, on Stitcher. Thank you very much. Have a great day. The name is Alex Merced. Like the Facebook page, Alex Merced Motivates. And uh, have a great day.